from Korea to Germany. From Alaska to Puerto Rico. All over the world, the men and women of your army are on the alert to defend our nation, you, the American people, against aggression. This is the big picture. Now, to show you part of the big picture, here is Captain Carl Zimmerman. The Army supplies educational opportunities for the children of officers and men stationed overseas. In cooperation with the other services, the Adjutant General Department maintains both elementary and high schools in Europe and the Far East. Sculling on the River Necker is a popular sport, and competition with German teens tests the skill of these young Americans. Now this crew gets their craft in the river to practice for next week's meet. In these sporting events, the youngsters, both German and American, get a real taste of that combination of individual and community achievement that is the essence of a sound democracy. Here, the whole individual is developed. In Germany, or wherever there are American schools overseas, the youngsters also enjoy a rare chance to absorb some of the culture of the people with whom they live. They see history with a new perspective. On their way to the American High School in Heidelberg, they stroll over the ancient Carl Theodore Bridge. At one end stands the beautiful statue of Pallas Athena. No textbook picture here. It's the real thing that captures the imagination of these young Americans. This is the city where the famous old University of Heidelberg was founded in 1385. Another historic spot is the ancient arsenal of the Princes of the Palatinate. It was these sturdy walls that defied destruction and saved the town during the Orleans War. At the Heidelberg Museum, a class in anthropology studies the beginnings of the human race. Where else in the world could you actually see the real jawbone of the ancient Heidelberg man, except in Heidelberg? To their German schoolmates, the American kids are living examples of democracy and the American way of life. As the traffic sign indicates, this is an international undertaking. There's a two-way exchange of ideas and traditions, and both parties benefit. Back in the classroom, this new appreciation finds expression in courses from languages and history to mathematics and science. To these American teenage students, high school German has real significance. But again, this greater comprehension is an added feature to schooling overseas. The curriculum is basically that of the American school system. Perhaps after school, there's time for a Coke at the Sidewalk Cafe, opposite the Heidelberg Bahnhof, and maybe a chance to talk about the track meet, a date for Saturday night, or perhaps something mom and dad are going to bring up at the PTA meeting tonight. Parents overseas take just as much interest in their children's schooling as parents back home. Perhaps more because they are overseas and community problems seem much more important. Graduation, of course, is the biggest event of all. It's the culmination of everything that has been done to make sure that these young men and women the children of American service people stationed in Germany have obtained the best education possible. For them, high school overseas has been an unforgettable experience. With the speech making over, another class is launched into the adult world. This girl who graduates today from Heidelberg High has had an opportunity for learning not offered to many young Americans. This young man may well stand here on the heights overlooking old Heidelberg and reminisce. Just as in any town anywhere in America, there is the big dance that evening. As you watch the graduation party, you can't help but wonder if you are really very far away from home. For there is something solidly American here in this school system that embraces the whole world.
there's still much work to be done in making adequate education facilities available for all children of overseas personnel. More buildings, more teachers are needed. But you can be sure that all efforts are being made to bring these children the important schooling they need, no matter where they may be.